What story did Mr. Song read to the class today? Mr. Song read the story The Pied Piper in class today. According to the story, where did the rats appear? A pack of rats appeared in a little town in Germany. Right. Where did the rats appear in the town? There are large numbers of rats not only in the streets, but in all the houses. Hmm. Why was Mr. Song angry with Bong Su? Because Bong Su squeaked again and said, squeak, 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 packs of rats have appeared. Okay, so uh, Bong Su was being very noisy. And what did Mr. Song say before Bong Su took off his slippers? He said, he said, Mom, there's red in my shoe. Mm -hmm. What did Mr. Song do when Bong Su took off his slippers and shook them? Swelling at Bong Su, Mr. Song just went on reading. Okay, so he frowned at Frown. Bong Su, right? Yes. What happened when the town's people tried to get rid of the rats? The numbers of rats only increased. Right. Who came to the town one day? One day, a piper came to the town, mm -hmm. playing a magic flute. Mm -hmm. Why didn't Mr. Song punish Bong Su? Because everyone said that they enjoyed the story all the more because of Bong Su. Right. What group is Eugene a part of? Eugene is in a sunflower group. What did Gino do to Bong Su? He hurried over to Bong Su and drew his arm around Bong Su's shoulder. Mm -hmm. Why did Gino go to talk to Bong Su? Because Gino loved Eugene and Bong Su is next, sitting next to Eugene. So what did he want? He won't look at Eugene again. Mm -hmm. And what did Eugene seem to avoid? She must have noticed Gino's glances but seemed, seemed to avoid them. Mm -hmm. Where did Bong Su go? He fell to the restroom. What are the other kids whispering? Other kids whispering, Gino seems to have a crush on Eugene. Mm -hmm. Did Gino care about the kids laughing at him? No, he didn't. What did Gino say he was becoming? He's, he said he is becoming a sunflower. Mm -hmm. What did Gino say a sunflower does? A sunflower looks up at the sun and turns its head to follow as the sun moves across the sky. What's Gino's problem? The problem is, however, that Eugene doesn't notice he at all. Mm -hmm. How often does the class go on a field trip? What did Mr. Song catch Mina and Jiwon doing? Mr. Song caught Mina and Jiwon giggling during class. Why were the girls sniggering? They don't know why. They were sneakily. What did Mr. Song say to Jiwon? He said, Jiwon, come and see me later. What did Jiwon expect Mr. Song would do? She was sure he, he would scold her for behaving badly during class. All right. What had happened to Jiwon that morning? She had already been nagged by mom this morning. Mm -hmm. What did Jiwon say she would do if she were scolded again? She said she would go crazy if she was scolded again. Right, she would breathe fire. Huh? And what did Mr. Song say he would like to do? Mr. Song said, I'd like to have a word with you. How did Jiwon avoid getting punished by Mr. Song? She was scolded severally by her mom this morning. Mm -hmm. What did Mr. Song say after he sighed? He said, all right, there's no rush. Let's talk another day. How did Jiwon feel at the end of the conversation? She feels so bad. How often does the class go on a field trip? Their class goes on an outing every month. What did Gino take to the picnic? He took a can of coffee and another of orange juice. Uh -huh. Who did Gino offer his coffee to? He offered the coffee to Mr. Song. Very nice. Who did Gino want to give the juice to? He wanted to give the juice to Eugene. Right. 속셈이 있었구나. 그러니까 yes. 두개 가지간 게 속셈이 있었어, 그지? So Gino was worried she would refuse. What did Mr. Song say? He said, "Boys should be brave. Only the brave deserve the fair." Right. 
Was you know worried about what the other kids would think? He worried what if other kids make fun of him. Mm -hmm. What did Mr. Song say about the other kids? He said, don't worry about them. Mm -hmm. Just or, give it to her. Right. Were Gino's eyes open when he handed Eugene the juice? No. Then he handed her the juice with his eyes shut tight. Right. They were shut tight. How did Eugene feel? She was totally confused and embarrassed. How did Gino feel? He felt as if he were walking on air. Right. The Pie Piper, Wednesday, June 9th. Rain. Mr. Song read the story The Pied Piper in class today. A pack of rats appeared in a little town in Germany. He began. Then I quietly said, Squeak, squeak, squeak. Mr. Song didn't seem to notice and went on reading. There were large numbers of rats not only in the streets, but in all the houses. I squeaked again and said, Squeak, squeak, squeak. Packs of rats have appeared. Mr. Song ignored me and continued. Oh my, rats have eaten up all our breakfast. Go away, said the little boy. I shouted out, Well done, rats. Mr. Song stared hard at me for a moment, then returned to the story. Mom, there's a rat in my shoe. I took my slippers off and shook them as if trying to get the rat out. Curse you, I shouted, frowning at me. Mr. Song just went on reading. The townspeople tried to get rid of the rats in every possible way, but the numbers, number of rats only increased. Hmm, Mickey Mouse takes over the world. I mother. One day, a piper came to the town playing a magic flute. Mr. Stone continued. I began softly whistling like a flute. Everyone in the class laughed so much. They said that they enjoyed the story all the more because of me. Because of this, Mr. Song didn't punish me. I am a sunflower. Tuesday, June 15. Cloudy and then clear. Eugene is in the sunflower group. I waited for the class to finish. Then I hurried over to Bongsu, who sits next to Eugene in the group. I threw my arm around his shoulder, glancing at her. Don't you love studying? Isn't it interesting? You know I don't, Bongsu said. I looked at Eugene again. She must have noticed my glances but seemed to avoid them. I kept questioning Bongsu. But he fell to the restroom. What a mean guy, I muttered to myself. Other kids were whispering behind my back. Jin Ho seems to have a crush on Eugene. That's right, but I don't care about kids laughing at me. I'm becoming a sunflower. A sunflower looks up at the sun and turns its head to follow as the sun moves across the sky, Eugene is the sun. The problem is, however, that Eugene doesn't notice me at all. I hate being scolded. Thursday, June 17, Drizzle. Mr. Song, Kamina, and me giggling during class. 
I don't know why we were sneakily. There is no particular reason. As soon as I stopped laughing, I wanted to tell Mr. Song I was sorry. Then he called out to me, Jiwon, come and see me later. I was sure he would scold me for behaving badly during class. I had already been nagged by mom this morning. I would go crazy if I was scolded again. So I answered, but why? What for? I'd like to have a word with you, Mr. Song said softly. You're going to punish me, aren't you? You sound like you already know what we're going to discuss. I was scolded severally by mom this morning. Can't we talk another day, Mr. Song? He signed heavily, saying, All right, there's no rush. Let's talk another day. Mr. Song accepted my rude suggestion, but I don't know why I feel so bad. Only the brain. Tuesday, June 22. Bright. We went on a picnic today. Our class goes on an outing every month. This was going to be the last one for the first semester. I took a can of coffee and another of orange juice before we left for the picnic. I offered the coffee to Mr. Song. Thanks, he said. Seeing the juice in my hand, he asked me if I like orange juice. I shook my head and said, no, this is for Eugene. It's okay, isn't it? It's up to you. We're leaving soon. Give it to her right now. What if she refuses? Boys should be brave. Only the brave deserve the fear. What if other kids make fun of me? Don't worry about them. Just give it to her. I strolled over to Eugene with my eyes wide open and looked straight at her. Then I handed her the juice in my eyes should tight, saying, Mr. Song told me it's okay to give this to you. Eugene's eye winded in surprise. She was totally confused and embarrassed. She had no choice but to take the juice. Yahoo! I felt as if I were walking on air.